Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pierre Andrews, uh, and today I'm going to show you how I process uh, lead vocals, how I did it on my track, I See You, uh, which I wrote for my daughter, Ellie. Uh, here's, here it is. Check it out. From fear I saw in black and white But your colors opened up my mind I picture you, you're all that's right from the day you opened up your eyes Okay, so um, the the mix isn't done and um, I'm still tweaking some effects on the lead but um, this general this is the general chain that I use on most lead vocals so uh, here we go so uh, I've got a lot uh, lo the first thing I'll do is put on a vocal tune I use Waze vocal tune just in case to uh, to you know make sure that there's no erroneous notes and if they if I do catch them I can always um, do it manually in uh, in flex pitch um, the very first thing I do after that is um, DS so I'm gonna actually bypass actually yeah I'll bypass all of these and kind of show you what it sounds like dry from fear I saw in black and white. fear I also remove my effects. Here we go. Dry. Fear I saw in black and white. So without the deesser. Fear I saw in black. That's in saw. I wanted to clear out. Fear I saw in black. And that helped do it. It's basically you're hearing all the s's and splosives or the s's and t's that are getting caught off the deesses. You'll hear it a few more. Hey, so it basically cleans it up right away. Uh, but after that, I will put on and then I'll EQ. I'll cut out low frequencies that I don't need. In this case, uh, cut, I, I did a high pass at 132. And then I got rid of some muddiness that I felt was just kind of getting in the way. I'll, I'll bypass it so you can hear it. Fear I saw in black and white. Fear I saw in black and white. Fear I saw in black and white But your colors opened up my mind So it kind of cleans up um, It kind of cleans up the, uh, the the kind of muddiness And this wasn't the best recording But I wanted a vocal recording um, Because of the mic that I used But uh, as you can hear a little bit of the room Which is not ideal um, after that, in the signal, cha signal chain is dynamic EQ, and I used uh, Waves F6 to kind of tame this uh, kind of bitey range of like 512k, which is kind of shrill. Fear I saw in black and white. Fear I saw in black and white. You can just solo it so you can hear. Fear I saw in black. Yeah, especially when I hear say that the word saw. Fear I saw in black. Fear I saw in black and white. So far we have this in the context. Fear I saw in black and white. Alright, then uh, this is where I compress after. And typically I'll like go through the whole session and before compressing I'll like kind of you know level out the uh, the volume of the track so there's no like section that's extremely loud or too dynamic so that it'll make the I don't want the compressor to pump too much. I used to use, uh, well, I have three different signal chains for compression, and I use I use different compressors based on the source. Uh, it's either going to be an 1176 blackface, 1176 blueface, or what I'm really liking is this UAD Alicia Alpha. It's actually a mastering compressor that I'm using uh, in the, in its mix setting. It's mid side processing, but it's in this instance um, it doesn't mid side process. Um, I just want it to be really transparent and like the ratios only go up to 2.4 so it's just a really clean sounding compressor. Fear I saw in black and white. Fear I saw in black and white. So I'm getting about 4 dB's gain reduction, hitting it kind of with a semi fast attack just to get rid of some of the original tran initial transients but not make it sound too flat or too compressed. And then this auto fast engagement button catches other transients outside of the initial attack that may be you know a lot louder a lot faster um, to help kind of tame the, the vocal track as a whole so that's a great little feature it's like a automatic type um, automatic type of uh, attack and release 
And the next one, um, so basically in this case, I auditioned all three and I liked this one the most of the, between those three compressors. And those are, I try to get the most clear and transparent compression from that. And then after that, I'll add one for color. And I usually always use uh, LA-2A. Fear I saw in black and white. At the most, I'm like two to three dBs of gain reduction. But your colors opened up my mind. So it helps. I'll just do it over here, actually. Fear I saw in black and white. Fear I saw in black and white. Fear I saw in black and white. So it just brings it much more to the front of the mix. After that, I got this from Jason Joshua, good, uh, amazing mixing engineer. Um, I just add a little uh, sh low shelf, uh, minus like 2 dB at around anywhere from like 100 to 300. Fear I saw in black and white. Fear I saw in black and white. It just adds a lot in the context. But your colors opened up my mind. Then I will DS again to get rid of anything that the compressors kind of brought in because they tend to bring in some artifacts uh, in the higher frequencies and the lower, and especially the higher frequencies that just kind of, it kind of tames it again. You see all the transients it's catching. Then I will add a tube tech, a pull tech EQ. Uh, with I have a, I mean my the roll off is really smooth so I said I have it set to 15 kilohertz but I've boosted it quite a bit and then same thing I've got it set down to 20 and I've, attenu I've attenuated it to get rid of some of that low end as well you can hear it. Fear I saw in black and white. Oh, I thought I could press this button I guess not. Fear I saw in black and white. Fear I saw in black and white. But your colors opened up my mind. So it brings a little brightness. And then finally, I'll bring in a multi band EQ. I'm going to tame again the higher ends to get rid of any kind of um, you know transients that are just kind of sh shrill to the ear. And that's kind of what I did with all these. I'm, I'm getting. Fear I saw in black and white. This really is, to my, to my ears, what really saves this, <laughs> this recording. Um, Fear I saw in black and white But your colors opened up It like it makes it sound like it's somewhat pumping but naturally and uh, just brings it to life Then sometimes I'll use micro shift uh, depending on the lead but in this case um, It's not I wanted something a lot more focused um, After that I'll set an instance of a parallel compression for the vocal and this is really, I have a, I already did a blog on this, but um, I'm using, um, where is it? Parallel Vox, right here. I'm using, um, I'm first I'm DSing, and then I'm using uh, 11 is 76 blue face, so I'm hitting quite hard, fast, uh, uh, slow attack, fast release, and to make it really pump. And then, uh, Here I saw in black and white. I blend that into the original s signal. Fear I saw in black and white. I'll mute it. But your colors opened up my mind. So it just Fear I saw brings it way more up front. Next, I have a reverb, and I use for my reverb, I do, um, I'm using Lexicon. I was auditioning a few different ones, but this one sounded good. Vocal plate. Fear I saw in black and white. What really helps here is setting a, um, a pre-delay so that it doesn't get in the way of the lead vocal. So I've got a pre-delay, sorry, I've got pre-delay set to like uh, 90, it should be 94 milliseconds, which is in this tempo, uh, basically uh, an eighth note right after you sing. So it's in time. Then after that, I have a delay using H comp, sorry, H delay by Waves. And what's cool is I set a compressor to sidechain the lead so that uh, the delay doesn't kick in until after the vocals kind of left. Fear I saw in black and white. So it's basically ducking, it's getting out of the way, it's basically side chain compression on the vocal, uh, on the reverb uh, leading in from the vocal. 
and then I'll put I put a reverb on top of that because I wanted the delay to have some reverb, which is a cool little effect I like to do sometimes. Dear, I saw in black and white. And then all together, this is what you have. Dear, I saw in black and white. But your colors opened up my mind. I picture you, you're all that's right. From the day you opened up your eyes, I see you here. All right, uh, that's it. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to get notifications. And uh, check out my site, pierreandrews.com. Have a good one.